Hey guys, welcome back to virtual birding. <laughs> um, I wanted to share my observations for the last couple of days, March 12th and 13th. Um, I got out both days to do some birding uh, locally. Uh, let's see, on Friday morning, I went out to Clark's River for just a little bit. It was raining pretty hard and so I didn't see a whole lot. I heard a few birds um, affiliated, or I got really close to affiliated woodpecker, which scared me when it called. <laughs> it was cool. I got a good look at it. Um, but most of what I saw was was back at my house where I have tons of um, bird feeders. So I snapped some shots for you guys so we can look at field marks and talk about um, what I saw. So here are um, three uh, pine siskins eating at my finch feeder. Hopefully you can make out um, you know, the, remember that these are really heavily streaked um, little birds, sparrow sized birds. They have a white wing bar and then they also have yellow on their primaries. Um, they also have a very notched tail, which is another nice field mark to look for. Their beaks are very, very um, small, almost needle like, um, which you can't see in this shot, but keep watching. <laughs> All right, this is not a pine siskin. Who is this? This little guy is hiding um, his best field mark, which is his yellow rump. So this is the yellow rumped warbler. Uh, it kind of looks like he's wearing a mask. Just under his eye, there's this patch of um, brown, kind of a grayish brown patch, um, which is offset by this um, white eyebrow or supercilium mark. Uh, but yeah, so the, the yellow on his rump isn't seen in this image, but um, he does fly around Periodically, this nice warbler beak is very small and pointy as well, um, as well as this broken white eye line to help identify him. A few blue jays over in the neighbor's yard. Here's another look at the pine siskin. Again, you can see this heavily streaked body and those yellow primaries and some yellow on the, on the rectices as well. Just another look at the siskin. Um, is spring is coming, guys. Here is... Um, a female American robin. Um, she was stripping um, nesting material off of this fallen, um, actually, I think it's part of my okra plant from last, <laughs> last year's garden. Uh, but anyway, so she was she was stripping off some, some nesting material. So she's getting ready to go. Here is a downy woodpecker, um, strangely at my finch feeder. Remember that you can distinguish a downy from a hairy woodpecker by the relative length of its bill. So if the bill is shorter than the depth or length of its head, then it's a downy. If it's longer, then it's a hairy. So if you imagine like tilting, rotating its bill back, um, back into its head, this one, like the, the bill would not extend beyond the head. Um, whereas with a hairy woodpecker, it would. This is a very soggy, sad male northern cardinal, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, this is a female um, cowbird, and I was not real happy to see her in the yard um, because female cowbirds lay their eggs into the eggs of into the nests of other songbirds, and then um, the the host songbird mother ends up feeding. Uh, a cowbird rather than its own chicks and their chicks die. So they're not very good for urban um, songbirds. Here is another American robin. This guy looks really pretty from the belly up, but if you look below his belly, there's something really off with those legs. It looks like this guy probably has an infection of avian pox. Um, right now it looks looks otherwise healthy, so hopefully he's okay. Here's another look at a downy woodpecker. This one's definitely a male. He's got the red on the back of his head. And here's a blue jay. Uh, had just gotten a sunflower seed in his beak and was knocking against the branch to open it. Here's one of my favorite backyard birds. This is the red-breasted nuthatch. Um, and you can tell My cat just opened the door. Um, he's a very small bird with a small pointy bill. He's got this really obvious white um, line on his head that separates the black crown and the black on the auricles uh, or his cheeks. 
and they have this beautiful kind of blue-gray um, feathers on their back. The females, you can't really see the belly very well here, but this is a pretty pale um, colored belly, so I'm guessing this is a female, not a male, red-breasted. The males are pretty rusty. Here is the same bird after she flew off, but it's nice because you can see that very pointy bill that kind of sticks up a little bit. And that's um, characteristic of the nuthatch. All right, um, here's a group of three. You can see the female Northern Cardinal over here and then uh, an American Goldfinch and a Pine Siskin. The Goldfinch, has a very um, just plain white belly without streaks. They have black wings primarily, and then they have white wing bars that stand out pretty well on their wings. This one's still a pretty drab yellow, but they're going to get really bright pretty soon um, as we get into breeding season. And then there's that pine siskin with its heavily streaked belly and chest um, just behind it. I got really interested in watching um, the behavior that happens in between between two different birds at the same feeder or multiple birds at the same feeder. You can see this siskin um, talking to the goldfinch about how it does not want to share. Um, here comes a male northern cardinal and you can see the siskin is over here. The cardinals tend to dominate um, when they're at the feeders. Here's my pink girl. This is my very lightly colored um, female cardinal who's been uh, around this, this spring, end of winter. Um, you can see she's like super, she's really, really pale um, in color, both like her body, but then also her wings, um, instead of being a darker red color, it has this like almost like flamingo, peachy salmon color. So she's really pretty. You can see where her mask would be. There's a little bit of darker coloration there, but she really doesn't have a mask like other females would. This is a dick thistle at my yard yesterday. Um, this was a very unusual find. This is one of the earliest observations of this bird in Kentucky. Uh, to see it on March 12th was really unusual, and then to see it in my backyard with my backyard birds was strange. Um, these typically um, are grassland, like open grassland birds. So you'd see them around farms and that kind of um, area, but uh, to see it in an urban backyard was quite strange. But I've learned since then that they hang out with house sparrows. Um, so maybe that's why she or he was here. Um, but regardless, it was really cool, really cool to see. I took a gazillion photos, but these are two of the, the nicer ones. Um, my favorite, the Eastern Bluebird. I got a new Bluebird feeder and um, it was enjoying the mealworms that I put inside of it. Um, here is a Carolina Wren, my pink female cardinal again, a Carolina Chickadee, and this is a purple finch. Um, again, you can tell a purple finch from a house finch the males um, are a little trickier to distinguish, but I always look at this part of the body. That's why I included this picture. So you can see that it, there's there's basically no brown, um, dark brown streaks right here, like you would see with a male house finch. So this is definitely a purple finch. Here's another red-breasted nuthatch, enjoying some suet. This is the female purple finch, um, and they have that really obvious um, brown auricle patch. You can see the supercilium, uh, the white supercilium above it, and then another white stripe just below. So that's definitely the female um, purple finch. Here's another look at the pine siskin. I have lots of pine siskins right now. Um, let's see, we have, let me get out of the way, a purple finch coming in to get some food. This is definitely going to be a gold finch. You can see that really obvious white wing bar um, contrasting with the mostly black wing. And this look, looks like the, the rear end of a pine siskin. And again, feeder politics. Um, you can see these guys being um, shooed away by an incoming purple finch male. 
Here's the female purple finch, American goldfinch, and pine siskin in the middle. I got a nice look at a blue jay. I rarely get to see them so closely, but this one came in really close. Um, such a beautiful bird. And then let's see, a whole bunch of different people. So we have um, a purple finch male over here on the right, a purple finch male kind of in the middle. This is a female purple finch because I can see that white eye line, eyebrow rather. I see the wing or tail of a uh, pine siskin. And I'm not sure about this individual. I think it's a female purple, but I can't quite tell. Pretty sure it's a female purple. All right, feeder politics again. Look at that beautiful yellow in the wing of that pine siskin. I love that. And then you can see the purple finch, the female, this is the male purple finch, the female purple finch, and another male purple finch. An eastern toey. This was kind of under the feeder, so I didn't get a good look at him, but that's the eastern toey. Here's another purple finch male right in the middle, and then you can see a little bit of the pine siskin on the right side here. <laughs> oh, this poor female. I've had, I think it's the same female um, all winter, and I didn't think she would make it to springtime. This is the roughest looking female northern cardinal. Um, she does not have a tail and hasn't had for months, but um, is still getting around just fine. But like, I don't know, something's really off with this girl. Her feathers look messed up. But she was still here and she's feeding and here's a, a pine siskin that's eating with her. <laughs> she is not a pretty bird. <laughs> but look at that pine siskin uh, talking to the American goldfinch that's flying off. Um, with a siskin, you can see a lot more yellow when it's got its wings um, elevated. Uh, a female northern cardinal and a male purple finch. Again, a nice look at its belly where I do not see any of those brown streaks like you would see on a house finch. Close up. Let me get out of the way. There. Isn't he pretty? Um, this purple finch hung out with his male cardinal for quite a while. They seem to get along all right together. Table for two. The females, on the other hand, these are both female purple finches. Um, they had to think, work things out. <laughs> I like this picture. I mean, look at the anger, the face on that siskin. Like, hmm. These two are talking to each other, both pine siskins, the female purple finches just feeding there. There goes all the yellow of the pine siskin. It's usually hidden, you can see it there. And then the female purple finch at the feeder. A beautiful male purple finch. The dark-eyed junco, um, which I think will be leaving pretty soon, so I got happy to see them this morning. Junco. Um, there's a Carolina chickadee and a um, American goldfinch male talking to each other. This male, you can see he's starting to get his black cap. So we're starting to get into that alternate um, plumage. Um, here's a better look at an eastern toey chowing down on some sunflower seeds. Look at that belly. <laughs> They're a beautiful bird. The morning doves, very pretty. And here's an American robin male getting a worm. Um, so after it stopped raining this morning, I, I watched this guy uh, gathering some food. Ooh, he's got it. Yum, yum. All right, are you ready to bird by ear? Hopefully we'll be able to play. So the, these next few videos, you won't see anything except for like me walking my dog in the neighborhood, but use your ears and see what you can hear. All right, let's, who, let's see, who did you hear? Okay, I hear Germany, Germany, Germany. That's the Carolina Wren. And in the background, I think there's a cardinal. Let me listen again, oops.
Oh, I hear the tuft and titmouse. Peter, 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 Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. So there's two. So there's the tuft and titmouse saying Peter, 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 Peter. And then the Carolina wren saying Germany, Germany, Germany. I think these are blue jays and, well, I don't want to give it away. Let me listen. All right, so you hear the, I think at the very beginning, there's a tufted titmouse. Peter, 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 let's listen again. It might be too far away. Anyway, what you mostly hear are the blue jays. I think there were two or three of them in those bushes. And then there's also um, a red-bellied woodpecker that you can kind of hear calling in response. Blue Jay, Blue Jay. That chick, chick. Chick. That's the red-bellied woodpecker. That is the Goo Goo Dog. That's my dog, Daisy. All right, this is my muddy, flooded backyard. Okay, all that squawking. Those are common grackles. And Towards the end there, you hear the Carolina run. And this one doesn't say Germany, Germany. It says cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I think. So the, the Carolina Wren does have um, a variable song. I think some of them say Germany, Germany, Germany. Some say tea kettle, tea kettle, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, liberty, liberty. It just depends on what you hear. And they are variable, um, but it's going to be in that repetitious kind of triplet sound. Okay. All right, so there's actually several things going on here. I stopped and made this recording because I could hear this finch singing um, at the top of this tree. I don't know if it's a house finch or a purple finch. I haven't decided. What do you think? There's also a northern cardinal in there. There's also blue jays in there. And then you can hear the zzz sound. That, that is the call of the white-throated sparrow. So among, aside from the house or purple finch, there's some other birds that you can hear if you listen real carefully. Oh, sorry, this video is like tilted. Uh, this was at Clark's River. All right, so those, there were two of them, at least two of them talking to each other. 
um, that's the Eastern toey. You know, usually they do the drink or tea sound, um, but these guys are just going drink or tea, tea. <laughs> so they don't always sing the whole song, but this is part of it. Tea, tea. I guess it's drink. 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 Yeah, so they're saying drink, drink over and over again. All right, I think this one's kind of quiet. Okay, at the beginning you hear Peter, 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 pretty quietly. That's the Tufted Titmouse. And then you hear the one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's what I say in my head. And that's the Carolina chickadee. <laughs> 